Welcome back to the kill screen and today is the day. It is the switch day and if you were one of the two people who watched my video I posted yesterday you kind of know my thoughts about the switch as I was kind of excited about it then on switchmas switchmas eve that's easy to say um, I was almost going to go and resell it because I was on the fence about it so much but then all the reviews for Zelda was coming out and I'm like, yeah, perfect tens, perfect scores, perfect everything on this game. And I was like, all right, I want to give the Switch a chance. So I just went by Target today and picked up the Pro Controller. And then I went by GameStop because that's where I reserved Zelda at. And I got there and I didn't realize they were coming out with like portable cases for this that you could carry your screen and stuff in and they had one there that was Zelda themed it's like oh that's pretty cool so you know they had the package sitting there on the pig on the, in the store so I went up to the woman up there and I'm like so I, you know can you tell me what's what's in this box we don't have it and I was like what we don't have it I said well it's sitting well that's just a package we don't have it I said oh okay well about we don't have that either I said, that, no, no, you, what you don't understand is we don't have any, anything, all of it's gone. Okay, you know, I was just asking a question, jeez. So that was my short experience today at GameStop, getting yelled at. Everything's gone. So, <laughs> I was like, I said, well, do you have a Zelda game? Yeah, you know, hopefully you have that because I reserved it, you know, and she's like, yeah, if you reserve it, then we have it. I was like, all right then, you know, I'm sure there's been a billion unboxings on YouTube today and in the previous weeks so what makes this one different than every other unboxing you watch this one is fresh how fresh this isn't even out of the cardboard box fresh that's how fresh this unboxing is I haven't even opened it yet I haven't even taken it out of the cardboard I, I know I know keep calm it's okay it's all right so yeah I'm gonna open it up here and look at it for the first time and then gonna do the unboxing over um, my other area over there so you can take a much closer look at it when I do and I'm also going to be unboxing this and this and apparently I'm not gonna be unboxing a case because they're out they're gone and I tried to stay away from all the unboxings because I didn't want to be spoiled by it if I could find the right tool and this thing to open it up with I think that's alright so you know I, I literally stayed away from all the unboxings, even though there was a million of them out there. Because I didn't want to be spoiled, I wanted to look at it, you know, myself for the first time. And show it to you guys for the first time when I open it up. I'm good. There's... There we go. Ooh, cushions, cushions, pillows. And what is this? This is the UPS. It came at UPS, so UPS tag. And here it is. The Nintendo Switch. It's kind of heavy. All right, well, there isn't much to the box here. <laughs> um, I did get the one with the orange and blue controllers. So as you can see on the front of the box, I'm assuming the all gray one is just the gray controller picture. On the back of the box is just people putting the joy cons into place and that's pretty much it on the box there's a couple of graphics on the side a couple of graphics over here i mean it's not really much to this box but since it's inside the box it counts looks like we have a simple flap that just pops out no tape on this which is really nice this here just pulls forward so as you open it up you have the joy con controllers and you have the screen itself so let's take a look at these joy con controllers first first impressions very tiny, very, very small. They are actually smaller, I believe, than the Wii Remote Control that came. Um, I, I believe because they, they feel smaller. And this thing is really bright orange. I don't think the brightness on this camera does it justice. But yeah, wow, this thing is like neon bright orange. Here it has a home button, your Joy-Con joystick, which moves real real small um, it clicks you can push it in and these buttons here are also really tiny and I have no idea what this little thing up here is hopefully it's not something that you have to actually try to 
move like a d-pad because yeah you have to be super small in order to do that you have to have like mouse hands on the inside of the controller it has another button oh, it's upside down so it says SL and SR so I guess it's when you're playing it like this you can push these buttons I, I suppose I'm glad I did get these colored controllers I think just the, the charcoal gray or black ones are just boring and I do like the colored ones so yeah, and these are really nice colors. I, this one's way, way bright though, <laughs> compared to this one. This one is bright blue, but it's not like crazy, you know, neon blue. Unlike this crazy neon orange you got going on here. But um, yeah, this is how you would use them separately. You know, just like you would, I suppose, like you would have the Wii Moat that you used to have, but you have two of these now, so it's kind of cool. Tiny, tiny controllers. So here is, I guess, the console itself. This is it, I believe. <laughs> um, you know, the complaints about this thing were the charging is here on the bottom. So you literally have to lay it down, I believe, in order to charge it. And I don't know why they decided to make it like that. But let's get it out of the plastic and take a look. As you can see, it has a very reflective surface. It looks like it's, you know, a mirror. You can see my ceiling on right there. Here is where you put the actual cartridge. It's about the size of a DS cartridge, I think. As you can see, it just pops open. You slide it in there, and pop it shut. Not sure what this is. Probably speakers, maybe? Over here, you have the plus and minus. I'm sure that's uh, volume. The side of it has a bunch of screws, but that's where the Joy-Con controller is attached to. And here's the bottom of it. Like I said, that's, I believe, the charging station. On the back, it just says Nintendo Switch. Here's uh, probably more speakers, maybe. Here's a kickstand that pops out. It's, it's, it's very, very fragile. I can see that breaking within the first week, probably. If uh, a kid gets a hold of that and it pulls that out, yep, that ain't gonna last long. All right, so let's so let's let's go ahead and snap these Joy Cons into place here, and see uh, how how they go in, I guess. <laughs> All right, it snaps right there. This one snaps right in there, and here it is. Here is your portable console that you can take with you if you want to go on a plane or a car. Um, from what I read, this thing has a battery life of maybe two hours, maybe three. Not sure if it's been confirmed or not, but it's right around there. And I have no idea what the screen looks like or what the operating system looks like or anything here. But I'll go into more detail about that in a week or so, when, or probably next week, when I have more time to play with this and show you everything that is available on here. Here we have the plugs that, you know, plugs into the wall, plugs into the system. Here is the other plug that I'm assuming plugs into your TV. It's not a very long plug from what it looks like. Now this is your portable system to slide your Joy-Cons into. And if you don't want to use it on the screen, which you wouldn't be using it unless it's portable, you use this instead. And let's see if we can go ahead and put those in there. Should just slide in like the other the screen did. Slide that in there. And there you go. This would be how you would play an actual game on the television is through this. Now, I've known a lot of people say it, it's kind of hard to hold on to this for such a long time, which is why I got the Pro Controller. But yeah, I mean, they said also they said it's really light. It does have some weight to it. I mean, it's not completely light. There's a little weight to this, so it's not too bad. Um, but uh, this would, like I said, this is how you would actually play a game if you didn't have the Pro Controller with this little thing here. So, see the back of it. And I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't know, you know, how comfortable it would be to play with this. It seems like it'd be kind of confusing that you have these buttons up here and these buttons down here, but I don't know, maybe you get used to it. But so far, you know, it feels comfortable in, in your hands. Um, yeah, we'll have to try it out and see how comfortable it is compared to the Pro Controller. I had no idea it came with these. These um, apparently snap onto the side of the of the Joy Cons, and it comes with a wrist strap. I didn't know it came with these. I thought they were separate, but that's kind of cool um, that they came with this. So last thing we have here is the docking station for the Switch, which you know is bigger than I thought it would be. It's um, 
this is what actually plugs into your television. So I don't know how it actually works. Apparently it just pops down like that. <laughs> and here are the ports. Plug it into your television. USB, HDMI out, AC adapter. I guess you plug them in there and just close this and it comes out this hole here. So it's pretty nicely designed for, um, I guess this is supposed to be, this is actually, I guess the console itself, which is kind of bizarre. And it docks apparently in here. I don't know which way it goes. Let's see. It just fits in there like that. And this apparently, I guess, charges at the time that it, you know, when you want to use it. And if you're playing it on the TV and you want to switch it directly to this, and there you go, you have your portable system and you attach your, your Joy-Cons to both sides of this and you're ready to go. The one thing I was always on board with and never on the fence was this. The Nintendo Pro Controller. I actually went to Target and got this and they guy told me, oh well there's a bunch of them right around the corner. I went around the corner, only one left. I asked at GameStop, we don't have any, we're out, there is no, there is no Pro Controller. Whoops. <laughs> so, I did get a Pro Controller and I was really hoping because I wasn't sure if I was going to like the Joy-Con things on the, on the Switch, so I wanted this. One, because I heard so many great things about this, and two, is I want to get into PC gaming so bad, I want to play, start playing, we have so many games on the PC, want to start playing them and don't really have a decent controller. And from what I understand, this works for the PC, so I can use this for my computer and for the Switch. So the $70 price tag is ridiculous for this. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think the Xbox controllers run about 65, I think, 50, something like that. So it's not that much more expensive, really, than any other controller. Plus it has a built-in Amiibo reader in it, so there's that. And I believe the Joy-Cons do as well, but I'm not sure. But anyway, let's get this thing open and take a look at it. First off, this thing feels great in your hands. I love the grip. You're, when you hold it, you can really just grip it. They have sort of like this thick grip. It's not you know like the PlayStation or the Xbox controllers. It actually gives you a, a tight grip when you're holding it. It's really nice. The design on it is pretty cool. It's sort of a translucent plastic that you can see some designs that are inside of it. So it's really nice design. Has a pretty good texture. It's just plastic. It's not rubber or anything, but it's still a, a decent texture to hold on to. And the rubbery controls here are really, they feel just great. Everything about this, you know, all the stuff I've been hearing about it is absolutely true. It's such a nice controller to hold on to. Sort of has a concave trigger buttons, which I always like, and they just feel really good. Buttons over here are nice and big, which is, again, really, really nice. Nothing little tiny buttons like the Joy-Cons. These are really substantial big buttons, as is the D-pad. Really, and D-pad sort of has like a, it has a texture to it. It's plastic, but, you know, it has sort of a, I don't know if you can see that, it sort of has a rough texture to it, which is also really cool. You can tell it's, it's quality. It's a, it's a quality controller and can't wait to actually use it for Zelda. That's the reason I got this, is because if that game is so long, I want to be comfortable you know, playing with a actual sort of, you know, I wouldn't say a real controller, <laughs> but one that I'm more used to than the Joy-Cons. So yeah, it's really, really impressive. Love this. For those who have Xboxes or Playstations, you will look at this and you're like, wow, that's a really weird cartridge, the box to have a cartridge in. And it is, it's an odd shaped box. The cartridges themselves, I just showed you on the actual console, are really tiny and I don't understand how they can put that much information on such a little thing that comes in this package, which I'm about to show you. Back of the package, it just shows you some parts, some graphics of the game, and that's about it. And here we go. We got this gigantic box, and there's a cartridge. <laughs> this little thing down here at the bottom of this huge, you know, container is the cartridge. And I guess if they made it about that size, people would be like, wait a minute, why am I spending, you know, 
60 bucks on something that small and it's just weird that you can have that much information on this right now it's really crazy so there you have it there is the unboxing of the switch the pro controller and zelda all right so there you go there is a switch unboxing i'm going to be playing it for a full week and probably next saturday or sunday i'll jump back on here and give you my first week's thoughts on playing the system and what I thought about the, the Pro Controller and everything else. So, and give you some thoughts on Zelda at that time. I should have gotten somewhere in the game by then. So yeah, I'm actually kind of excited. It's always exciting to get, you know, a new console. So even if I wasn't too excited to get this in the first place, I am more excited now that I finally have the thing and uh, get to actually play it and see how it works. One thing when I was at GameStop, was they were talking about there was a video that was playing they were talking about Mario Kart coming to the Switch and actually I don't even remember what system we even played Mario Kart on it had to be I don't I don't even remember it was 20 years ago so Super Nintendo maybe I don't I can't even remember what we used to play it on but we used to play it all the time and it was Vince and my wife and our roommate at the time, Larry, and myself. We used to sit there and play Mario Kart constantly, all the time. We used to play that. And from what I gathered from the video when I was hearing it over this woman saying, We don't have any! It's out! It's gone! That I think all of the tracks on all the Mario Karts are coming to this one game that's going to be coming out for the Switch. And if that's true... I will be getting that because I only ever played the first one and that was it. I never played however many there's been. Um, the last one I played had Rainbow Bridge. That's all I remember. It's been that long ago. So next week, I'll be back with my impressions for the first week of the Nintendo Switch. Let you know what, you, what I think of it. Maybe by that time, I can get um, a thing to put it in. and Because I don't travel that much. That's the thing. Is like I said on my other video, I don't really plan on taking this anywhere. But we are doing the tripping arcades thing now and we've been traveling because of that four or five hours in a car and i might just start taking it with me and we might be going to texas again in a few months i don't know you know it'd be kind of cool to take us on a plane with me so yeah it, it might actually come in handy you might be able to take it with me and, and play stuff i don't know we'll see so until next time make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all this excitement you know all two of you that watch this show so there you go.